and mine is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given to another in prosperity and adversity. And when it's God's will, the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and the love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but soberly, deliberately, and in reverent fear before God. Unto this union, Raul Antonio Gabriel Sutherland Jr. and Christina Beatrice St. Floor come to be joined. Raul, will you have Christina to be your wife, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Will you love her, honor her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I will. I will. Christina, will you have Raul to be your husband? to live together in the holy covenant of marriage. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I will. I will. Who gives this woman then to be married to this man? We, we do. do. Thank you. The ceremony of marriage in which you've come today to be united in is the oldest ceremony in the world, celebrated in the beginning in the presence of God himself. Marriage is a gift from God, given to comfort the sorrows of life and to magnify its joys. Marriage is the clasping of hands, the blending of hearts, the union of two lives as one. Your marriage must stand, not by the authority of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, nor by the seal on your wedding certificate, but by the strength of your love and the power of your faith in each other and in God. You can have a home filled with love and with faith when you recognize God as the source of romance, of love and affection, for these are his gifts. Build your home on a spiritual foundation. With God, you will have everything. Without him, you will have nothing. The reading of the word. <laughs> 